Alright, let's try this again. For me, that's Gambit. I'm kind of 2D action, maybe a little bit rogue, a little bit of Metroidvania elements within it. I'm not 100% sure. I think a little bit of rogue. I read that was free on Epic, so why not try it? So first thing is I started recording with uh, OBS here using Game Capture, but that seemed to freeze up, not work correctly. So Window Capture for you, anyone that's want to capture this game themselves. We're gonna do the most important things. This is my first time ever booting this kind of game up here. It's always to check the options menu that you should do before running into the game. And this is, you know, how I approach all my gaming. And this is what my mid videos are emphasizing, you know, how, we, how the game feels from start to the gameplay and everything for about an hour. And one of the most important things is obviously gonna be configure controls. So, you know, what type of game are you going to be playing? A very input heavy game or one that has less inputs that might be more of just execution. Um, and just by looking here, we can definitely see that this is going to be input heavy. You have two weapons, shield, jump, jump dodge, a specific climb button, item, and four abilities and some kind of dive and parry. This is going to be super heavy in input. So just off, out of the get go, this is probably not going to be a game that I'm going to dig into deeper. Unless this is very seamlessly done. This most often this is just not my style of gameplay. It's not a bad gameplay so, or anything like that. It's just not my style. I'm not into super intricate like games in general and that is the same for FPS games that's probably why I don't like looter shooters or realistic uh, games that are more simulation like Arma like where you have just a ton a ton a ton of different key keys to do I'm I'm more of the one that likes a s more of some not minimalistic, but uh, fewer inputs, and then to just kind of combine and doing crazy stuff with those. It's my style, and like learning the timing execution of that more than just having specific actions for specific things and like memorize in that way. But we're gonna try one thing here. Um, I don't see stick click here. So hopefully I can do this. I can. That's nice. Um, this I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hope that this kind of dash or dodge move something like that. So it's gonna work as I'm thinking about movement with left stick. Okay, which is interesting. Uh, Wow, ability one, why not? Left trigger plus one. Oof. Well, right, the next important thing is gonna be to check off this easing on. This is probably gonna be a very lightweight game. Yes, and it seems to be locked to 60 frames per second, unfortunately. Good game, probably for lossless scaling to use. Start with music in that in like the mid here which is nice, you can raise or lower your audio, which is great, it's not just blasting it at the highest possible volume it can, I enjoy that. Full screen is ballless, here we have resolution options, only 16 by 9 it looks like, so no ultra wide screen and stuff like that, unfortunate. Um, don't look like 4 by 3 or anything, just pure 16 by 9 pretty much. You can go really, really low here if you want a, I guess, very pixel kind of look to it. Different language, a few of those. Other settings, reduce screen shake, great to have that. Terminal of UI, help bar visible. Help value, okay. Oh, if you want a number for that. Mm. Don't know what that is. Mm. Cool extra here for speedrunner things. Original, original many main menu. Oh, that reboots the entire game. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, that's a minor thing, but uh, why not? Diminish white flashes. I'd get these tones down flashing. So good auto aiming. Mm -hmm. Performance mode. Okay, if you need even even a more lightweight game here, nothing bad with that. That's Gambit Afterlife. New game. No data. Haven't started this or anything like that. Mouse and keyboard. That's nice to have support for that. For play this like that. And maybe for aiming. Keyboard only or game pad. Need visualization, soul visualization, success running, soul visualization, connecting. Okay. So I know really nothing about this game. I like it. it just popped up and hey, I like 2D games. Peer into soul fragment. You can skip cutscenes, okay, that's nice. Hmm, <clears throat> it looks pretty interesting so far, the graphical style here. Audio is not pausing or game is not pausing when you tab out. I like that for lightweight games. Oh, right. Okay, so you use the... Assassin memory. Is this different, like... Right, so this might be what you can... Different... Right. Okay. You can choose your class here. Jesus. Well, that's probably my style. Well, we're gonna trust the game's recommendation here. Recommend if you're fast-paced. I can only do this attack like standing still. Okay, so you can. Right, it's gonna take a little bit of a timing to get that going. No, I'm gonna trust it that it, this is a good hack and slash. Man, yeah, all from the get-go here, it seems to be a game that has uh, stuff that's not my my preferred things. I have no idea, like, why, why, why are you giving me this already? <laughs> uh, I, I have no idea. Yeah, it, 
I haven't played the game with nothing. How how should how should I be able to pick something here? I don't know. It, it, I guess it's just because I'm not into this game style game play styles, right? If you're into it, this is probably maybe more fun. But for me, this is just like, dude, I want to play the game a little bit. I I can't choose this. I have no idea anything about the game. What would I pick now? <laughs> It's, uh, but I've seen this in other games, you know, Souls-like games. You pick your stuff like from the get-go and uh, get into the game. So I guess that is the charm. If again, if you're into this gameplay, for me, this yes, is like what's stupid. I don't know. I don't know what the game is. I don't know what the enemies is. I don't know what the, like I know nothing. I don't want to pick anything now. deals less damage why would you want something like that like literally for me this is just i have no idea N not a clue here like this uh, description doesn't really tell me anything what what's good for me zero absolutely you know since i have no crap i'm gonna take that that looks like the worst one this seems like the worst one so let's go with that because i have no clue nothing <laughs> um, and this is i guess one thing that's very important that Reviewers, you should never trust reviewers really, right? You shouldn't trust me reviewing. What you should try to do is find someone that plays and likes the same games to you and trust their, like, what they feel about the game more. Because if I were to review a very hardcore Souls-like games, that probably is not my gameplay type. I wouldn't be able to give a good review on if it's a good souls like games. I could just tell if I as a person enjoyed that game. But if you know if I were to go more into like FPS games that I played more of, I might be able to give more of constructive criticism and right stuff like that. So that is, you know, always a why some reviews sometimes might be very different to each other because sometimes someone that are like paid reviewers might get to review something that just isn't within their gameplay, their personality, and then it's gonna be bad. So have have that with you when you, you know, if you watch me playing this. I don't like a why louder. No, I, I'm gonna do this because I wanna, I wanna feel a gameplay. So we're gonna skip this. So have that in mind when watching me, right? I, I, I can't give you know if this is gonna be rogue like souls like element. I'm not gonna be the good, good re judge of is this good mechanics because I'm not into that gameplay style. I like to push outside my boundaries and find new stuff. And they might, I might you know come along a game that might push me into that genre but i you know if picking your class and that thing in the beginning that might be a really good souls like you know thing that are very popular but since i'm not into that i cannot really judge that i have no idea right so i'm coming in this fresh mind like that so this is more gonna be if you like games that i've liked earlier then you might know if you might like this game also. It's not gonna be Shame it's always the cowards that survive. Like an a good It's not gonna be a good uh, review or things like that about how mechanics like this are implemented in the best way. Considering the fate of your men go I, I wanna feel it uh, since I already from the get go like even yes yeah I, the more I see this game, I see that this has just so many elements that just it's not my thing that I really like enjoy here. 
um, you have lots of like menuing stuff, ability stuff, and upgrade pads, right? Lots of journals to like read. And just again, and I think that's why it's good to check your settings before you enter in game. Because I, from the get go, here, by looking here, I know all of this craziness. And I hack, I can put my like expectation down a little bit. I can already know that, man, okay, this might not probably gameplay wise, it's not going to be something that's going to grab me from the start. Instead of just thinking that, oh wow, this graphic looks cool, oh I have an attack, oh awesome, this is probably gonna be badass. I can put those expectations more mildly. This really is a great looking here, like giving me something to know what buttons might do stuff, and also that this is gonna be a very input heavy game. Lots of inputs, different to memorize. And it might be combined with also with precise timing and stuff like that, but it might also just be that is it's just gonna be about combining the correct inputs more. Better get used to it. I just you want to feel the game here. I'm sorry, I'm not give it time. I don't wanna now, just spend one hour of of mostly of uh, story things. Like, the story could be really good, but if the gameplay isn't... Wow, okay, I can go left, I can right. Okay. Obviously, this is my fault for skipping the story, not knowing exactly what to do here. But I want to feel the gameplay. See how that's going to be. So I'm guessing I was supposed to take the horse here. There is a bit of analog, maybe? I don't know. Let's see when we can walk. God, yeah, I'm never gonna wait. Oh, plus down on the D-pad. Yeah, that parry is not happening. Holy hell. Are you kidding me? That is some weird stuff for me. Left plus the D-pad down. That's a weird combination. Down. That is a weird parry button. And that's the only thing you use? It seems like that. So you use interact is down button. Left trigger plus down. Why would you have that? That seems weird to me. <laughs> oh wait, here we have, okay, you have, use this one, item use, 
So you switch item with the left buttons, but you pair with with this plus the D-pad down. Holy hell. Alright, I wanted to check. No, there is no analog movement. This was also a game I would have loved to use the 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 deep had to move. Maybe you can you might be able to uh, whoop, to switch to the deep pad for movement for sure. But yeah. Hmm. If I haven't used the horse to leap over large gap, okay. Uh, let me check one thing though. No, not that. Uh, you have interact. Okay, yeah, okay, I get why that is. But I could probably do remap one thing. Yes, I have used uh, the right and left trigger stick here. I can probably do... I could also probably do a parry with that one though. Left or yeah. Yeah, that's probably better. Very nice visual. Definitely have a very good looking visual style here. Very quiet game and it is obvious it is uh, it is turned down by default so I might you know could crank it more. But yeah it is uh, definitely very quiet. Um, uh, it's probably possible to, you know. Hold left trigger to block. Less press. The, yeah, to dodge roll. Okay, so. So they start you off with pretty oh, <laughs> with pretty easy combat. A looming death gives you a god complex, I see. If you intend to squander your life, go right on ahead. But should you think twice? Use it to ensure your return to Vados. Consider it the last kind of To what lies ahead, I assure you. Okay, so you heal on the right one. Oh. <laughs> but 
don't know if it's a good thing to attack that one. Oh, that's probably the healing thing. And save point. Right, so you have here, you have your... Left button, right button, oh. I don't know what I did. Oh shit. Right, that's... Uh... to learn okay so it doesn't pause it doesn't seem like it pauses no right had to try that doesn't pause when you're in your inventory um okay so You can do that. And if you want, you could do... Okay, so that's weapon one, and that's weapon... Nope. And one. Trying to, you know, learn this. So if I equip weapon one, then I equip weapon two. That's weapon one. Weapon two, apparently. So I can... So what is the Y button doing? Y button. Ability one. Okay, so I don't have any ability yet. Uh, general class. Holy. Oof. So where do I like item? Returns you to the last that I rested at. Okay. Oh, so that's one item. What? No idea what that is. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> Yeah, this is too much for me already, I can tell. Um, cool. it, it's not really my... My type of game with all of this.
How many healings do I have? Don't know. I have no clue. Oh, there we go. Zero healings. No idea about how the pairing works. Oh, cannot. And dead. All right. Okay, and you drop stuff when you die. Hmm. I suppose it was too much for me to expect you exist in a state of near death. As you mortals know, make no mistake, you are an unknown. Oh wow, okay, it doesn't even pause. Would like to read that. Read that. That's a well, it's very far from hack and slash like the class I made. Okay. While blocking, press I'm trying to read this manual. Why? This is stupid. Okay, there we go. Like, you can't have a tutorial here. Oh my god, what? That's a stupid thing. This is stupid, right? This is what I feel is stupid. You have this tutorial enemy. But I can't read this because the enemy is attacking me at, at this time. <laughs> so I have two healing potions. Wow, that's uh, brutal. Yeah, just by how this is, I this is g not going to be for everyone. Ru l just like the Elden Ring and, you know, stuff like that. It's not going to be for everyone because it starts you off in... Wow, I didn't even know that I... There we go. Because it starts you off in quite a, you know, a rough state with a lot of things from the get-go. And there is a lot of things to learn. It's gonna take you some time, unless you're very familiar with games like this, to get into this. Um, So I can use different... Okay. I don't know what that is. Okay.
Okay, this is a bit weird. Okay, you gotta... There we go, just, just go away. The, how the tutorial is, is being made like this, like in action combat? Because uh, I'm trying here to see, can I aim? So you use your right to stick to aim here, but there's also auto aim, but you use the right stick. Uh, this game, I just by playing this a little here, this is not gonna be for me. Uh, I don't know, I, 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 I don't find this heavy management and like all of tons of different combination input like pressing that, pressing two button parry. I don't find it interesting, uh, fun to me to learn to memorize all of that. It's just not my game style. It definitely feels like it has a not, lot of charm to it. Also, for some reason, which is annoying, is that suddenly the music has gotten much, much louder. It was not that loud when I started. Uh, but yeah, th this is not a game for me. Visually, yes, uh, but... But gameplay-wise, it's uh, it doesn't, <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't, uh, you know, what what do you call it? It doesn't uh, really makes me want to play more. Let's just go with that. I don't know what you would call it. throwing daggers, six throwing daggers. Is that an item? Like it's just all of this all the time. Is yes. Okay, that's an item. All of this like management thing here and then with especially with all of the combat again like it's it's kind of weird having two things to parry two buttons to do some kind of knockoff shield then you have the, the aiming thing and uh, you can have a different abilities and uh, oof, it's just no not really speaking to me. Is that my ability? Where is that? Okay, so... Two pages. So I have to... At, okay, so this is my second... So you... I build up like ability by attacking. Right, and now you can use this. You do not have the right. Well, that's. Uh... Oh, right. so you have to swap. Th this is again like crazy. I can't swap now, but apparently I need to swap to use this ability. No, I can't because I don't have the right weapon and I can't really swap here when I'm in combat. Yeah, I think this is not a fun execution wise how it's uh, been done. Like, th this doesn't work really that well. Uh, 
Okay, so that breaks its shield or something. abilities like this right so can i only change this left rigid plus my level oh my god there's so many abilities uh. this no guess not maybe I open something else um, can I do something I wanna uh, sorry for this I'm gonna do a quick look here uh, for something important um Come on. Why? 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 Why is it like... Oh my god, this is so weird. No, okay. I have not played this game before. It's something almost felt like I've played this before. Um... Yeah, this seems like very interesting, like gameplay-wise. It is feel very snappy, it's looking very good, it has a good audio. But I really, really... I'm just not into this gameplay at all. And this is supposed to be the hack and slash class. class meaning that... Um... Welcome, friend! You're sure to be... Um. I'll be back. Um, but yeah, it almost feels like I had tried this before. And come to the same conclusion that I have now. That this, this seems like a cool game, right? There's a lot of cool elements and stuff. But it's just not... Um, Just not my type of game here. Oh, now we're poisoned. So now I'm slowly gonna die here, or what? What's gonna happen? You can do a continuous slide when you just hold this down, which is kind of interesting.
Oh, I picked the wrong one. So... Wow, that sucks. Okay. Sucks for me. But that's the healing and that's that one. Well... Uh, 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 uh. I don't know why couldn't this have been the dodge roll. Why do you have two different... Yeah, I don't know. This is just games that does not speak to me. That's just... I, I think they could have been for me, personally. I'm sure that others might find this very different. But for me, I only need uh, to have like one kind of dodge thing here. Not these two, two things. One avoiding, one kind of shield breaking. To me, that just doesn't add anything. Okay, that's weird. That is flashing every time I do that. Uh, let me end this probably. I want to try something. Uh, so let's do this again. Let's try that and then let's try... Wait, what? Huh? B okay, it's game just wow. Um, I don't know if this is a bug with the Epic Game Store being added to Steam here, but the game stopped working with my. With my yeah, the game stopped working with my controller. Um, I wow. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I tried to do what I tried to do was this. It's very confusing how you bind this, since it wants it to be two buttons, so you have you you pretty much have to rebind it twice. So what what I wanted to try is just one thing here. Okay, let me try something more. Uh, okay. You see, if I do this, there is a flashing thing with the item thing there. That seems to be there seems to be something that is hard coded with the item thing there. To right stick. So can you reset the default? There we go. So even though it works perfectly fine. Uh, it per works perfectly fine. It works perfectly fine to rebind within the menus of this game, but it, it could be something that is bugging out, because it seems like every time you press the right stick, it's doing something with the item things there. Uh, it could be a bug. But it could also be something that later on in the game is going to cause a bug if you rebind it. As you can see... Oh, right, I can't show it now, but you could see it previously. When I press jump, that was set to right stick click, it flashes my item. And... Okay, oh wow, you can use those even... Even when you don't, do, even when you have full HP, weird choice. Yeah, okay. 
yeah so it might be something with the right stick click that is going to be used later on you can't see it in the menus there's nothing showcasing the right stick click here but it's definitely down in the right you can see it flashing every time every time i jumped uh, after rebinding the right stick click so it seems something is not something is bugging out there uh yeah this is not gonna be a game for me so i'm just gonna be i'm gonna see if i can get to that little part i was and then i'm gonna stop here again it's just a personal kind of personal preference thing I was thinking I had more... I messed that one up. Okay, rest. Press left button to change equipped items. What? Left button does nothing. Oh, is it? Oh, the, the, yeah, okay. L left button, the D pad left, right. This one won't do either. What happened? An explanation for an. Your survive. It is not too late. Return. You're not the only. Know that I. And if you're set. I will grant you a swift death. Wow! Yeah, I'm not gonna beat this boss again. Oof. It's not, again, it's not a bad boss or anything. It's just... Uh, I need to also do, you know, you, you need, it's it's a bit of a slower, even though I'm in the hack and slash kind of class, it's a slower thing and you're gonna have to, you know, probably use your shielding, your parrying, and lots of different techniques here too. Different techniques to fight it, and uh, it's not my my style. That's just the thing it is.
Sprite deal 5% 5 more damage against the boss. Okay, I guess that's interesting. So it's something I only get. I don't have to do anything about it. I uh, still don't think I can upgrade anything, right? No. Don't know how to unlock this or anything like that, so... But yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to finish this boss here, so I might do like one more attempt. That's just uh, all I really can do. Emmet. Get through this. Will have dire consequences. Okay, so you have to do this. Right, so I can only do this. Okay. Can only get this. That unlocks more. It's nice stuff here. It is nice stuff. Uh, it just the, the fight, the gameplay, kind of the fighting loop is not. It's not my thing here, right? Like, it's nice to have tried this. I like you know pushing out of my normal gaming. Huh?
always tell you. That's right. Seems like it could be an interesting story here, but I wanted to really focus on the gameplay for me. Is that was gonna be the big thing here? Of course it is, so don't worry, my boy. Here. What's the shark? And it is like it is an interesting gameplay, right? It's just I don't really um, like that type of input stuff. Like these things, uh, even though I'm not into this, isn't super heavy, but you know, it's still kind of a lot of things that I'm not really a fan of. But these are, you know, I can get down with this, I can get down with stuff like this. Um, all right, you have a map. Didn't even see that. Alright, it's nice. Probably a pretty decent map. Um, and stuff like this. But the the, the kind of like this thing here and like that and all of like the <laughs> stuff like that. Rematch. Oh uh, no. But like the, all of those kind of input heavy stuff. Just doesn't really uh, I don't know doesn't engage me doesn't seem uh, it doesn't bring me joy or like the, the fun and stuff like that we get to that all right the power seemed uh, quite difficult to get down. Oh, okay. I also do wonder if, since again, remapping jump to right stick made the item kind of flash. I wonder how that is gonna play in later on, if there's gonna be a bug or what this is. Um, if it is a hard coded something or if. Yeah. What's going on with that? Oh, this is the first real boss that I had. I guess. I had a 5% uh, extra damage for that one. Okay, got that boss. That was easier than the other one. Hmm. Yeah, I'm happy that I tried this because I can see the charm in it. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> air dash. Okay, we already got an air dash ability, which is so nice. Um, but yeah, all of this kind of very input heavy stuff. Just, again, it's unfortunately not... Wee for me here.
Wait, how did I do... How did I do that? Oh, it's on a cooldown. Left trigger plus Y. So just pressing Y does that. It's on a cooldown. And it costs a lot of points. Okay. Right, so yeah, again. Movement, everything seems cool. It just... It's just... This is just not my type of combat. Um, I'm sure I could maybe learn it or stuff like that, but... Okay, th this is perfect. I get to the tutorial, <laughs> at least. It's a very beautiful looking game. Seems very... seems well done. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop here. How long did it... did I last? <laughs> Uh, yeah, one hour. I did last one hour, so that's a good thing here. Um, yeah. So, I cannot, you know, I can't review how good uh, this game, game style is. You know, again, that's why I said um, I, I could give more feedback since I have more knowledge about pure FPS games and maybe Metroidvanias and stuff. Games that are very input heavy games, how good this is, how good the execution is, how good the class system works. Since that is not my game style, I haven't experienced a lot. I cannot tell you anything how good that is. Only thing I can say that if you like the same game that I do, and if you don't like, you know, input heavy games that, that you, you might be in my position that you feel that hey this was graphically very good looking and felt tight with you know how the input no like input lays and stuff like that you might enjoy that but the pure combat stuff just for just like it is for me might not be speaking to you and it doesn't mean that this game is a bad or anything like that it just means that if you're not into that then you might not appreciate the kind of heavy input tactical more more of a tactical vibe to the combat and you know, I'm more aggressive simpler I'm more about just timing giant timing attacks timing dash stuff like not not multi-button super using several abilities or items stuff like that and doing a parry that requires several presses and uh, you know that's not that's not for me again so what I you know what I can you know give feedback is, is that the music is really nice in this one. Um, seems to have good remapping options and like decent options for the men for like full screen resolution and stuff like that and audio levels uh, you know get right there and the graphic is really nice. It's a very lightweight games. My like RTS 37 isn't even having any problem. It uses up to two and a half gig of VRAM with OBS uh, recording here, which is a bit heavy for this type of game. And not really any problem. One thread of my Ryzen 5 600 X is uh, being hit up to 60%, so single threaded mostly game here. And a bit of a bigger chunk of a system memory utilization here using it up to 7 gigabyte of my system memory here which for this game type is a bit on the higher side but nothing too crazy um, so the only thing again oh but i'm not gonna be giving i can't give any input there but the input feels very rapid and smooth like jumping is instant dodging is instant and stuff like that that works great but how good the combat and the class system is Compared to other games, I have no clue. It just isn't my vibe. So, that's it. Uh, I wish this game supported more than 60 frames to get smoother panning. Um, that's like one of, you know, the things that I think is uh, just universally would make this game better. And again, games like this, 2D horizontal games, I wish this game would had support for ultra wide or super ultra wide screen. Because games like this is amazing in that aspect ratio. But other than that, this was a solid, interesting test. 
but um, yeah, this game is not the game that's gonna bring me into uh, this more advanced input heavy combat game. But uh, hey, it was free on Epic, which it was really nice, which gave me a chance to try this and to showcase this. And maybe if you miss this game and you like this type of uh, game combat stuff, you know, you might be able to check this one out or give it a go in the, in the future if it comes up for free someplace. But you can leave a like, a comment, uh, follow it, or check back to the channel if you don't want to miss stuff like this. And if nothing else, have a great day, and thanks for watching. Bye for now.